So thank you, Mary. Um, yeah, I've, um, I've asked Harald to join me on stage just to make it a little bit more um, dynamic, the presentation, and that you don't have to listen to me for a whole of half an hour, so um, to make it more interesting for you. Yeah, welcome to the Moodle Users Association, or the MUA, as we call it. Um, I think it's a, a good possibility, a good example of how a, a group or individuals of committed um, Moodle users can, can have more influence and, and thriving uh, the community forward to, like, to, to what we hope Moodle will be in future and to make it even, even better. Uh, within the next minutes, I will show you through our services we offer to our members and the possibilities you will have if you at one point join us as an individual or an institutional member. Probably the most important and most viewable thing we are doing for Moodle uh, are the developments, are the development projects. With every major release of Moodle, we are contributing one project, one feature, one development uh, which is proposed and voted or selected by our members and on, on topics where we think or where our member think that Moodle should get this kind of extra step. Let me show this on two recent examples. The first example which will go into Moodle 4.0, so in, um, in November then, we will enhance uh, the database activity a little bit. So we have seen that there is a, a bigger problem with usability on, on database module and some other stuff. And so there was one uh, proposal for a project uh, within the, the MUA which finally made the first place in our uh, voting process where we really go forward and, and help the database activity which is a which has enormous possibilities, but basically for almost every lecturer, it's, a, it's kind of a mystery how, could you, how we could use database to make this a little bit better. And the, the most recent one, and that's a, a, a preview of next year, next year in May, we are thinking about enhancing the edit of activity on a course page. Um, our members complained about that if you want to move or delete um, activities within a course page that you can only do it one by one. And we will go forward with HQ and the, and the development to make it possible to select several of them and then bulk editing these um, within the course page. But we are on the very beginning of this project, so it just has been voted as a winner by the end of July. Uh, and now we are in the midst of the negotiation with HQ, how this will be implemented and how we can go on with that. Every project developed by, by the MUA or with the money from the MUA is going into core code. And that's one of the main benefits proposing a project with MUA. You basically change the core of Moodle and make it a better place. And if you have a look at what we did in the last years, you see some of the things which you probably don't even recognize anymore that's coming from us. One thing is that one of the big in enhancements of the UX UI, especially with the dashboard in 3.4 or something. Um, the recycling bin was, a, was one of the first ideas we've promoted. And the recent ones are the, the download all functionalities, the, copy co the course copy functions, and all these things. As you see, it's a, it's a big variety, and that represents our community as well. So there's this chance to really get into whatever you think, whatever you bothers you, to just push forward and, and find a solution together with HQ. And for the next part, I would like to give the word to Harold. Yeah, thank you, Thomas. Hi, everybody. Um, yeah, so what exactly is the MUA? I mean, Thomas gave you already uh, a kind of idea. Uh, we are a non-profit organization. Um, our, our money comes from the memberships um, 
uh, are paid memberships and all the money uh, that comes in is spent on the projects that uh, Thomas just mentioned. Um, and basically, we are you. So everyone who's sitting here could be a member in the um, Moodle Users Association. So uh, be it an individual or a representative of an organization, uh, we, you will see that later, what uh, different kinds of memberships uh, we have. At the same time, uh, we're kind of a, of a mirror because we, um, we have discussions with Moodle HQ on, on the direction um, that, that Moodle is, is taking the, the future of Moodle, how will it look like. Uh, it's not that we define it, but we mirror the, the, the way that uh, Moodle is taking. Okay. Um, yeah, so who are the people behind the MUA um, working there? Um, you see us two here on the stage. Uh, I see some more here uh, spread over the room and of course here on the, on the slide. Um, we're all volunteers um, that um, partly representing organizations that are members in the MUA, partly individuals that are members um, we are elected by our members uh, and do all the organizational work that's necessary to get these projects that uh, Thomas was talking about done. Um, we also have uh, some statutes and processes that you can find on our, on our webpage in the, in the rules section. Um, and we're a very international and diverse um, community. Um, in, the, in the MUA, as is this conference here. So we have members from almost all over the world, um, not only in the committee, but uh, as members also. And, um, but still, you see these white or uh, bluish, um, bluish uh, places all around the world. There's, there's still room for improvement for for more members uh, that want to get their voice heard and, um, and push Moodle uh, and everything around it forward. Um, yeah, why is collective development and this whole idea of these, um, of these projects that we get funded, why is that important? You see the citations here, but you can see it every day if, you are, if you're using Moodle. Uh, a really big open source project where you can see that collaboration works. So we really want you to uh, to become members, to get your ideas uh, discussed with all the other members, push forward project ideas and uh, get them funded with with the money that, that we collect um, to really put uh, push things forward uh, in Moodle and make it better year by year. Sorry, wrong direction. Yeah, let's get to the, back to the bread and butter of, of the MUA, the, the project cycle. And I would like to show you within the next slides a little bit more what, it does, what does it mean and what do we offer. So we do have normally a six month cycle. Uh, ba it basically started last month in August one, where we, within the, the first month, we are seeking for project ideas. And really, I'm talking about ideas. You do not have to, to submit a solution. It's just this kind of, yeah, um, there is this, this bug in the tracker what I would like to have solved. Or I do have an idea that we could, whatever do, just submit it. As a member, you are allowed, well, as an uh, individual member, you can uh, submit one proposal. As institutional members, you can submit several proposals. Um, just submit it. Then we have this uh, first voting cycle where we just arrange it um, to have the possibility then to talk to HQ what, how the, 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 the first five projects on, from this first voting are sitting into the perspective and the plans of HQ. Um, so we are reviewing it, whether its size is okay, whether it's financial possible, whether 
it fits into what Moodle wants to do. And it's, it's always a kind of a negotiation process to really get the things in, in shape that HQ and the developers agree on it. On the other hand, that the wish and requirements from the users are covered with, with the solution. Then there's a um, final voting on, on these five projects. And there is one winner. And this winner, up to 11 months later, is finalized and implemented into Moodle Core. As I showed you, um, the, we already have decided what will go into, uh, into Core in next May. So the, it's a rather a long process, but as said, going into uh, every Moodle installation worldwide. Um, just the candidates who will go into Moodle 4.3 so in next November, we do have four candidates which are in this actual cycle. There is a proposal on improvement of Moodle reportings. We have Moodle reportings coming into 4.0 from Moodle Workplace, but it's not the, the whole system. It's only a small bits and pieces from it. And there's a proposal to extend that. There is a proposal on PDF annotator assignment type that we can annotate within PDF. There is a Default setting for completion uh, criteria, one often requested feature, which made it into our, uh, decision, uh, our project cycle. And another one, um, somebody is very interested in wiki import and export. And he or she could convince a lot of other users to vote for it. So it's also in this project cycle. Now we are in a reshaping phase. In December, we will decide which of these four one will go into our project cycle for 4.3. Uh, yeah, and now we come to what it actually means to be a member, because this project cycle is only one part of the benefits you get if you are an MUA member. Harold. Yeah, back to me. Um, yeah, why should you become a member? How you can become a member? Uh, how you can become a member? Um, I'll show you later, but first of all, why should you? Uh, you see some, some of the main things uh, listed here. Um, main thing is because you care about Moodle and how it should look like in the future and the, and the way it should head. Um, another reason is because you care about, um, uh, no, not because, yeah, because you want to be part of a community and be part of the discussion um, uh, how, and how Moodle is developing. Um, and how, uh, and what, how the future of Moodle should look like. Um, so what, maybe a bit more concrete, what are we doing, what are the benefits? Uh, you can participate. We have meetings with HQ um, on a monthly basis where we discuss um, the project cycles uh, and, the, and, the, and the project ideas, but also other things all around Moodle. We have uh, so-called town halls twice a month where we um, present and discuss interesting projects, um, learning scenarios, educational scenarios all around, uh, all around Moodle. Uh, so you can do a presentation yourself or just listen to them and uh, be part of the uh, discussion afterwards uh, and get in touch with, with others and interesting things. Then, of course, you can propose your own project ideas. doesn't matter your membership level, individual, organizational. Everybody can bring in an idea and, and get it done. And, of course, um, creating a, a, a better network for yourself. So um, be it in the town halls or uh, in the various uh, communication channels we have on Telegram, Twitter, and, and uh, elsewhere. So but now to the hard part. So what does a membership cost if you want to be, uh, become a member? As I said, we have in individual memberships for single persons. Um, that will cost you 100 Australian dollars, and they then go up uh, uh, until gold membership, with bronze, silver, and gold being organizational memberships. So memberships, so your organization gets becomes member, and you and maybe some of your colleagues uh, represent um, 
the organization in the MUA. <coughs> um, Concrete numbers, bronze, uh, bronze membership will cost you 1,000 uh, Australian dollars, silver 2,500, and gold 10,000. But each of uh, these dollars represents a point. So in the votings on the project cycles, um, a gold member would have 10,000 points. It could spread, put on one project or on, on different projects, and the others would have uh, less power, so to say. Um, okay, the rest will be told by Thomas again. Yeah, yeah just come back to the, to the money numbers. Um, since we are a, a group of volunteers and a non-for-profit organization, uh, the by way biggest part of the money you spend as a member go directly into development projects and into some other services we get from HQ, like web hosting and all the stuff like that. We do have only two employees. One is, uh, for, one is Steven for community administration, and the other is Nuria for marketing purposes. And so we really try to get as, as much as possible money into development, so really making the open source mindset. And even if, if you think $100 for an individual member, it's, it's not, not a cheap membership for most of the people. But um, you can be sure that uh, the biggest part of it will go into a development project. So it's this kind of how can I support Moodle development with my money and make a bigger impact? Or if you're an institutional member, you really can think about, okay, um, this yearly fee uh, probably helps us to support what we get some benefit from it. Um, so we get open source software and can give something back with that. If it goes to the future, um, we are always seeking about what can we do for our members. And one of the things we are discussing at the moment is how we as representatives of Moodle users can sit on the table with HQ and discuss where Moodle should go to. So we will have an internal meeting on Thursday night with uh, Martin and, and the staff from, from HQ where we uh, think think about how we can establish a new level of, of getting together, uh, us as a representative of Moodle users, and um, Moodle HQ as, well, the, the heart and the core of Moodle. Um, for sure, what we try to keep is just the ideas of, yes, I have an idea, I have a project, I have a, something to, 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 to be developed and give you the chance that with your membership of 100 Australian dollar, you can make your dream come true into Moodle Core, not only in your installation, but all other 160,000 installations worldwide. Um, if you have other topics where we can support you, tonight at five o'clock, I recommend you to take a beer in the community wrap-up session and then come to us to the I think it's the Catalyst room, no, the, the Tracy Punt room, and m over there, yeah, <laughs> and meet us uh, in our open discussion. We will be there, most of the community members, um, all of the community members here, former and uh, recent one, some of the members, and we will try to discuss what we should change, where should we had with our roadmap of the MUA in the next years to make a bigger impact and help you to make um, Moodle and our institution better. Because one of the thing is, as ma if we can increase the number of members, we can increase the number of projects, we can increase our influence, and we can increase the voice of users towards the development. And for this one, we need you. Um, two questions which I would like to ask you here now, but also later at, at five o'clock. We do have two town halls each month where we sit together and listen to a presenter who presents, if it comes from HQ, some of the HQ projects. Uh, we had one from Suriname presenting how he deals with Moodle. Um, 
do you have any topics you're interested in and you would like to hear about in a, in a MUA town hall? And other things, do you have some project ideas? Let's share them. And here are all, all the important links. Um, URL, email, Facebook, Twitter. And there's one additional thing. If you meet us at the speaker's corner, which is kind of opposite there, um, in this area with the sponsors, there you can talk, as said this morning, talk about the topic you want to talk about uh, for 15 minutes. But even probably more important, if you make a, a picture of yourself, submit it to our Twitter with the right hashtag you find there, you can win a one-year membership, one-year personal membership. So just meet us there in every break and in the, uh, in the lunch break as well, and uh, you probably become a member for free within the next year. So I'm open for questions, or we are open for questions. Thank you, Thomas and Harald. Yeah, actually, I am an individual uh, member of the MUA on, on a personal level. I have since it began. And, and what I do really appreciate is my 100 votes that I can decide where I want to put those votes. And it gives me a, a feeling of power there, too. Um, and yeah, go and get your photo taken in the photo frame. It's quite fun, even if you don't win. It's, it's a nice souvenir of the moot. So if we have questions, if you put your hands up and then Matt will come around with the microphone. It's not really a question, it's just a comment on the, the feature that was voted. Uh, there's a great plugin called Mass Action that does exactly that. It, you can select activities, hide them, um, and you know, delete them, move them in bulk. Okay. Mass Action. But it's a block, right? Yeah, it's a yeah. block. Yeah, so, okay. so obviously your features will be better because then you can select within a, uh, not, not, not being block dependent, but. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm aware of that, and I hope that we can take some, some of the ideas from there into, into what we try to, to implement directly. Yeah, and I had that plugin. Uh, uh, it was the development stopped, and I had some of our guys. Uh, now it's, it's available for 3.9 or 3.11, so it's... it's but let, let's connect afterwards. Then okay, we can sure. Have a look. Sure, thank you. Hi, thanks for the great presentation. Uh, so one question I'd like to ask is, uh, let's just say I have the uh, admirable in, um, inspiration to get onto the committee, like get voted in. Um, are there any requirements to get voted onto the committee? And also, um, how long is the committee cycle? Like how often do you actually replace committee members? Was war jetzt nochmal hier? Ah, okay, uh, I forgot the first part of the question, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so how can you get elected into, into the committee? We have yearly uh, so-called annual general meetings, AGMs, uh, where every member can attend or should attend. And um, when you have um, proposals for, for the committee and uh, an election who will be then uh, one of the ten representatives uh, in the committee. We have also four officers. Thomas, for example, is our chair um, who gets the chair position, who, who will be the treasurer, who will be the secretary. This is decided afterwards within the committee. So the members elect uh, and then the um, yeah, the, these officer positions are discussed in, in the committee. Uh, the second part was about the, the cycle, right? Uh, yeah. um, 
I think it's two two years. Um, so you do not have elections each year, but if a committee member uh, says, I do not have time anymore, you would need to re-elect a new member. But in general, it's two years. So the, the first missing part was um, if there are any uh, requirements when it comes to membership level for being voted onto the committee? No, yeah. okay. no. Any, any member, so individual or representative of an organization can, be, um, can become a um, committee member. Awesome, thank you very much. In Japan, we have a Moodle association, and every year we have a, a contest of best new plugins. And then, of those best three or four plugins who sometimes receive funds, one of them goes to the Moodle association, users association. And it's very exciting to see that kind of stage move up from one country, from particular needs. And I would, I would encourage every country to make a Moodle association and then have a contest or have a, have a conference where you judge some of them and then uh, submit them to the Moodle Users Association for inclusion in core. Yeah. Um, so kind of question of sub-chapters. And we were very open of that discussion. So if you have a community within your country within your language area, uh, please get in touch with us that we can start discussion of how we could help you to have a better impact, a better connection to, to others who, who do the same with you. And one thing, just how to get committee member, we had the AGM in September this year, earlier this, this month, and volunteering is not an easy business. For the most of them, they do it after work time. And um, so we do have all year some, some leaving people from the committee because they just say, well, I've invested, for example, Jeff, who was member from the first year on the committee. So for eight years, he was committee member. Uh, he just decided a month ago to, to leave the committee but stay as a, as a member uh, in, in the MUA. And actually, we do have, at the moment, one of the 10 member seats of the committee is free. So if you decide today that you want to get MUA member, uh, please get in touch with me, and we can discuss whether you just jump up to the committee if you want to. Uh, committee gives you an additional chance to meet Mary, meet Martin, meet anybody who is in charge on Moodle. So, um, but just to get back to, to the roots, I would love to be representing many, many more Moodlers from around the world and to help make Moodle better because that's all what we want at the end of the day. Thank you very much. <laughs>